Hello everyone, Drelkin here with another CBC game. Let me all start off once again by telling you, down in the description is the replay of this game, as in all of my descriptions these days. So if you are interested in the replay, feel free to download it there. One more thing, today we are going to talk about CBC and specifically about skipping the Bane Nest. We have a lot of pro Zergs complaining about the Ling Bane Ling Wars these days and um, it can be quite annoying to deal with. Every game feels like it's just an all-in game. I made some videos about early to mid game CVC before, I talk about uh, late game CVC as well. I showed you a, lot, a variety of Zerg styles from Utilisk to Ling Bane Ling Aggression to early Roach Push, one base all-ins, everything exists. And today my goal is, as I already mentioned, to talk about the dynamic of 2 base or 3 base pure roach. Right off the bat, this guy skips the baneling nest and goes for a roach one. I go for a baneling nest on my side of things. And the problem of skipping the, ro the baneling nest is that it's so hard to hold off your third base. Uh, to hold on to your third base. First, we are seeing some link pressure by me right now. I check out, ah, he has no lair. Well then, I guess it's not going to be a plus one roach timing. If it's not a plus one roach timing, what else could it be? A roach all in on two bases. So, I noticed that he actually does take a third, however. He has no bane links, because I saw no bane link nest. That means he will struggle greatly at dealing with my... Link counters. I also made all these paintings. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. But we, over here we see his roaches. And roaches are pretty expensive. Cost for cost, roaches lose in the early game. Right here I'm trying to do something with my paintings, but he takes care of all of them. We're on an exactly even worker count right now, and I'm preparing myself for his big attack. Morphing some more paintings over there. I have all these links, and Roaches are not really that good with links together if, you, if your opponent has bane links, so all he has are roaches. And it's simply not enough. The link bane link flood takes care of roaches so quickly. As I follow up to this, I just start my lair and I realize, well, Adria has bane links now and has to switch up his strategy. Or he's going to take a massive amount of damage for, from my links. So I'm just going over here, taking care of as many roaches as I can. He didn't really mine for a long time there, so that wasn't really good for him either. Flooding with more links, he cancelled his third base as well. Not sure if I attacked it or if he just cancelled it naturally. I kill off the Roach Warren. With the Roach Warren gone, he can no longer produce any, any useful units to him. I'm droning some more, going up to 3 or 4 gases. I kind of forget my Spire. I thought I built it, but I did not. So I'm going to be in a little bit of trouble because of that. 400 gas, laird on, no spire, there we go. Spire being about a minute late. Not good for me. Trying to do more damage with my links. Right here. And all I have to do right now is, once I realize his lair is this late, he has no third base. All I have to do is um, turtle with some spine crawlers, get up to the spire, and just make a nice, nice amount of utilists and finish him off. So I hope this game showed you guys the problem of the roach compositions, because Pureling is really good against roaches, except for maybe the the plus one roach and missile attack timing are really hard to hold off with pure ling. But if it just goes for roaches, without the missile attack upgrade, without roach speed, just tries to kill you with a roach ling timing. Just go for ling bane ling and show him. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.